I'm Nicole Newman and today I'm going to be demonstrating my best marinara sauce recipe. This is for a lasagna that I'm going to be making. So we're going to go ahead and get started on the sauce because it needs to simmer for a couple hours. It's uh, late in the afternoon or early in the afternoon I guess and I'm going to have dinner around 6 so I'm going to go ahead and get the sauce going. So let's go over our ingredients really quickly. I have a pound of ground beef and a pound of Italian sausage. I have two cloves of garlic that I've minced, one onion, I have two six ounce cans, six ounce cans of tomato paste, a um, 28 ounce can of crushed tomatoes, and a 15 ounce can of tomato sauce. And then spices, I have some basil, some garlic, some Italian seasoning, oregano and fennel, and a little bit of olive oil. I just have a little bit of oil in the pan, just kind of give it a light coating, because there's gonna be a lot of fat for the meat to release and fry in. But I like to have a little bit down. I'm just gonna go ahead and get this added in and start um, browning that up. And then I'm gonna drain it, add in the onions and the garlic, and then return the meat to the pan and we'll start seasoning it up and building the sauce. It's gonna be really great. It's pretty simple to throw together. It doesn't take very long. I love it so much more than store-bought. I like to break up the ground beef and the sausage with a flat um, spatula. I like to do a pretty small um, chunk of it. You know, it's not like a big, hearty meat sauce or anything that I'm doing. There's going to be a lot, meat in, a lot of meat in it, but since I'm going to be layering it in a lasagna, I don't want huge chunks of meat, so I want to get these um, broken up pretty small. So I'm just going to work on breaking this down, browning it up. I'll drain it, do my onions and my garlic, and when we come back, we'll start building this sauce up. After the ground beef has been removed from the pan, turn heat on to medium-low. Add a little more olive oil to rendered beef fat. And toss in the onions. Saute until translucent, about five minutes. After five minutes, add garlic to the pan and saute for one to two minutes until fragrant. After my onions and garlic were done sauteing, I went ahead and returned the ground beef and the sausage back to the pan. And I'm going to go ahead and add in two cans of tomato paste. I'm going to let that deepen in color, just kind of cook down here in the bottom of my pan for a few moments. Then I'm going to add in my crushed tomatoes and my tomato sauce. I'm also going to add a cup of water to this just to kind of thin the sauce out. I'm going to reduce it, but it's a little thick right now with all of the paste, and it's a pretty hearty meat sauce, so I just want to have a little bit of water. Um, that way I have enough liquid in here. So I'm just going to add in about a cup to a cup and a half of water. And I'm going to go ahead and give this a stir. So for the seasoning, I have a teaspoon of fennel, a teaspoon of basil, a teaspoon of oregano, one tablespoon of Italian seasoning, half a teaspoon of garlic, and a teaspoon of salt. I'm gonna go ahead and stir that together, get it all mixed into our sauce. And then I'm just gonna let this simmer on the stove top for about two hours so I can reduce the sauce and help concentrate the flavors. So that pretty much sums up our recipe for our tomato sauce. Um, you can use this so many different ways. I use it in lasagna and over pasta. I like to make my own pasta. You can use whatever kind of pasta you would like. And it's really a nice hearty sauce that you can use as a meal. So please let me know how your sauce turns out. You can tag me in social media at hashtag Nicole Newman's Kitchen. I'm going to go ahead and let this reduce and then later I'm going to be using it in lasagna. Make sure you check out that video below and I'll see you next time guys. Thanks for watching.